So my presentation includes uh, the following introduction. Why do we need GARC? Who are the trainers? What were the objectives of the workshop? Targeted, targeted areas. What have been the achievements since this workshop? Conclusion. Uh, indeed, the, in the last decade, uh, an increase in bite cases up to 120,000 cases per year. Uh, an average of um, cases of human rabies, um, 15 to 20 cases per year, and uh, animal rabies cases um, reaching 900 cases per year. Uh, the south of Algeria, which was rabies free, is now affected by, by, uh, this, uh, by this disease, which in the last five years has affected 33 of 48 wilayas. In view of these alarming figures, and despite the existence of a rabies program in Algeria, it became clear that a new strategy should be developed with the participation of all sectors concerned. <clears throat> Dr. Soufi and myself actively represented Pasteur Institute of Algeria as a national expert at the uh, 2018 Merit meeting held at the Merieu Foundation. At the, at the end of the meeting, there was interest in the Global Alliance for Rabies Control, the, ver the various programs proposed and the various works carried out supporting other countries in their fight against rabies. A perfect combo, meeting the recommendations of WHO, uh, OIE and FAO, which brings together everything you need to develop a new rabies strategy. There is no need to discuss um, about um, GARC work programs further as they have been presented previously. So after 10 months of preparing and uh, uh, from here came uh, the idea of collaboration with the Global Alliance for Rabies Control. And after 10 months of preparing and organizing workshop on the development of National Rabies Control Plan was held for the first time in Algeria. This was organized by the General Directorate of Prevention from Health Ministry in collaboration with the IPA, Pasteur Institute of Algeria, GARC and the Merieu Foundation and the participation of ANSES France and World Protection Animal. The overall goal of this workshop was to develop an integrated national strategic rabies action plan for rabies eliminations by 2030 using the One Health approach based on the following tools. Stepwise approach to rabies elimination and the rabies elimination protocol work program by planning prevention and control activities and strengthening rabies surveillance using the One Health approach. The dog vaccination program, budgeting tool for the elimination of canine rabies, allow the country to establish the cost of implementation sustain sustainable long-term canine access program. Our specific objectives were to propose a multi-sector national strategic plan for stakeholders to build rabies capacity, strengthen results based planning, resource mobilization, financial sustainability of the national rabies elimination plan, contribute to strengthening advocacy, coordination, and national ownership of the integrated national rabies action plan improve monitoring, evaluation, surveillance, and prevention, as well as research on rabies control and eradication. At the opening ceremony, um, we had the pleasure to listen to the Directorate General of Prevention, MSPR Arch, the WU, the WU representative in Algeria, Director General of Pasteur Institute of Algeria, the National Institute of Public Health Representative, INSP. The main actors and representative of the various sectors included in the fight against rabies were invited to this workshop, namely members of the National Con mm, Committee for Rabies Prevention and Control, was a representative of the various ministerial department, health, interior, agriculture, environment, national education, higher education and scientific research, the members of uh, institutions under guardianship, IPA, INSP, member of the association movement, national uh, media. 
So this workshop, this workshop was an opportunity to bring together the different professionals who must be involved in the fight against rabies. Also an opportunity to, to demonstrate that information, awareness and communication must start in high places at the beginning of the chain, directly with the representatives of the various ministries, who in some cases do not realize that they are concerned by this fight. Thanks to this workshop, we were able to establish a national strategic plan to fight rabies, where each participant gave their opinion and expertise in their own field. Since then, some progress has been made and, pro and projects have been undertaken, including strengthening of training, the trainers based on their interministerial or on, on the interministerial instruction of management rabies risk across the national territory, updated education on rabies risk management under the, under the new WHO 2018 recommendations, media expert intervention to raise awareness and inform the public about rabies prevention, upgrading the human rabies diagnostic laboratory at the Pasteur Institute of Algeria as, who, um, as per WHO recommendations, improved access to vaccination by installing 706 rabies units across the country's 48 wilaya, setting up a platform for ep epidemiological monitoring, make the information more accessible to the general public, implementation of an interministerial instruction of canine mass vaccination, launch of the first mass vaccination campaign for dogs sponsored by the World Organization for Animal Health and the U European Union, development of a program for mass vaccination throughout the country with the retention of Wilaya of Chizuzu as a pilot site, evaluation of vaccine coverage by serological titling of vaccinated animals, involvement of veterinary science universities in the fight against rabies, display and information via various communication tools with the establishment of a rabies communication platform, strengthening waste management and public landfills, encouraging communities to open canine pounding. So a good rabies control plan must be based on a one health strategy, bringing together all the key players in the different sectors with a complementary mission where each party has a role to play. A case of rabies is one case too many. It is not only statistic, but a death that can be certainly be av avoided. Collaboration with other international organizations is an essential approach that brings its share of knowledge and expertise in the field of rabies. Multiplying national and international meetings serves to maintain ties not to remain isolated and to work for the same cause in order to consolidate our strength. And finally, I would like to thank Professor Ney, who was the first to support this project. I also thank Terence, Valentina, Rosangela and Florence, who have traveled to Algeria so that this workshop can see the light of day, despite the distance and difficulties we met. I would also like to thank my Director General, Professor Dera for his unwavering support of rabies at the IPA. His support has been valuable from the start of the facility within the upgrade of the Human Rabies Diagnostic Laboratory. Finally, I thank the team invested in the rabies file at the IPA, Dr. Soufi, Dr. Isad, and Dr. Hashid. So to finish, <laughs> good health for everyone.